Hello everyone, welcome to Echo of the Wilds. From what I've heard, this is part adventure game, it's part survival game, and it's also part something else. And whatever that something else is, is something that I guess we'll both discover because I haven't played anything but the tutorial. So I'm really interested to see what's going on. From what I've heard, it sounds like most of what you do, most of what you concern yourself with in the gameplay is surviving. Staying alive, making sure you have enough food, making sure you have enough water, and stuff like that. But it also sounds like it goes in directions and it goes to two places that you might not expect. And it's more than just a survival game. So it should be interesting to see what's going on there. This game is available from, at the moment, I believe three different places. I'll have links to them in the description. However, it's not available on Steam yet. However, it has been greenlit, so I would expect to see it on Steam pretty soon, I would think. Alright, let's jump in. Again, I've played nothing but the tutorial, so I'm probably not going to be very good. Oh yes, I guess I should mention here the selections. Uh, that's just the options menu, this is the tutorial, but these two middle ones are basically the main game modes. This first one, step into a spiritual story, or uh, a journey in search of solace. So this is the main game mode, and it has uh, narrative elements in it, but you can also do this, endlessly survive the years against even uh, ever fiercer winters, which is an endless game mode. So, multiple game modes, I'm going to go with the normal narrative one, probably the best way to learn the game, I would think, before potentially doing this. So let's jump in. Begin your spiritual journey into the wilds of discovery, day 500. Can I select... Oh, this is probably oh, this is probably a save menu, I think. Yeah, so since I haven't played, I guess I have to start on day 500. I notice it says your spiritual journey into the wilds of discovery, so I guess I'm on some sort of a, well, journey. It's day 500, so I've been here for a very long time. I wonder what I'm trying to achieve exactly. I guess we'll find out maybe. Choose your true self. Hmm. I usually choose a man, so I kind of want to choose a woman. Yeah. Change it up a bit. Ah, great golly goshings, are... Uh, are you a ghostly? Oh dear. You don't appear to remember my face, do you? What a pity. Sorry, no, I don't rem... Wait. How did I even reach these forests? Can you show me a way out of here? To home? Home isn't important right now. The grasping cold gloom of night descends upon us. Your only priority is survival. Grab the blue spinely plant and use them to tear apart a small tree. Then bathe in the cozy protective glow of fire. Oh my. I'm hallucinating. Apparently so, but at least I'm hallucinating with very helpful hallucinations that give me tutorial tips. <laughs> That's the kind I like. Yeah, this game is really beautiful. I mean, I noticed it even in the tutorial and, the, and in the menu, but you can obviously notice it here too. Wonderful ambient sounds, just birds and the music is great. I feel like I'm in a forest. And the art is wonderful, too. These, like, multicolored... Whatever these are. Everything's very colorful. I can't help but admire the stoutness of this tree. It will take more than a primitive saw to fell this noble plant. This appears to be a small tree. I suspect it may contain wood, but I'll never know until I lop it down. Oh boy, these bushy berries sure look and smell delicious. Hmm. I wonder if it's like poisonous or something. Okay, yeah, so if you look at the very bottom of the screen, you can see a couple of bars. The first one, the biggest one in the middle is... I think that's hunger. Or health. I think those might be one in the same. And then the one on the right is water. So it looks like I could use water and food, so I might as well eat it. See what it does. Hmm. Nice. Oh, yum. Very tasty. 
with a lashing of jammy blood. Yeah, the language in this game is very strange. Very, very bizarre. I like it, though. The hardened, fatty spines on this little blue wonder make it a primitive saw capable of felling the wimpiest of trees. Okay, I guess I will take all of them. Could always drop them. Might as well take them all. Right, so this is a very small tree, right? So this is exactly what I can saw down. Mm-hmm. Right, let's go ahead and use it. And note that that does take away my hunger, takes away vitality, because I've now used up energy to cut things down. Oh golly no, my implement has shattered to smithereens. That's fine, I've got three more. Oh, I need to keep using them, don't I? I didn't even cut it down successfully. This is going to take a lot of energy. Okay, there we go. With wood in hand, it's time to kindle a cozy fire and doze beneath the glitter gaze of the shimmer starlights. But tomorrow, it's time for answers. It's you again. Gah. You'll want a bigger bonfire to stave away the worst of the chills each night. Two woodlets should do, your gr do you grand. Were you looming over me all night? Watching me sleep? I'm with you always. It's how I know you have questions. And in time, the echoes of your heart will answer them. Echoes of my heart? Look, you're not making any sense. Let's just start with the basics. Who exactly are you? I'm you, of course. A mind's splinter seeking closure. I can change my appearance if you disapprove of this form. Okay, stop. So you're me. Of course. And I'm you. Talking to a ghost me in a weird forest? This is insane nonsense. Perhaps. But I never said you weren't insane. Now go explore these woodlands for food to sustain your body and wood to burn your campfire bright each night. In... insane? No, I I'm just tired. Yes, that's it. Tired. And quite peckish. I already love this game. So strange. And such attention to detail, too. In the, uh, the... while I was sleeping, that heart that kind of showed up in her hand, that was indicating how low my vitality went while I was sleeping, you know, how much food I burned through. Okay, so yeah, I'm at about pretty much half vitality and half water. A cheerless blue carcass remains to haunt me. Pick up. Pick up what? More wood? Tufts of leafy foliage begging to be a campfire martyr. <laughs> I, lo I just love the way everything's written. I'm sure this wand of wood has many nefarious uses. Okay, am I out of room? Yes, I am. I feel like I might need the wood more. Not sure. Let me see if I can build anything. Hmm. I'm racking my brain. My brains for fanciful gear to fashion, but I just don't have the bushcraft knowledge within me. Hmm. I wonder how you learn recipes. So this is my inventory. This is... Oh yes, this is to look for new areas. My cozy home camp. When the darkness descends, it's here I can shelter and it's snugly embrace till day spring. These fanciful forests stretch and swath all that I see. What rapt niceties nestles amidst its dank depths. Yeah, just look at this writing, it's amazing. What rapt niceties nestles amidst its dank depths. It's very hard to say, but I just, I love it. Okay, so I can scout a new place, or I can explore a place that I already, apparently, kind of know? A fruitless flock of brambly leaves and twigs.
Okay, so yeah, it looks like each place is one, one screen, basically. Or is this where I'm already at? I mean, this is my home camp, right? Yeah, this has got to be my home camp. It's far too early to be nestling down for my nightly nap. There's too much exciting adventuring to be done today. Exciting adventuring, that's one way to put... Well, it's not really too exciting. That's one way to put, um, trying to not die. Wouldn't call it exciting. Let's go here. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, and the thing in the very bottom left of the screen indicates how, uh, what the time of day is. So, obviously it's early morning. And I don't believe time passes. The tutorial said time does not pass when you're within a screen, it only passes in between screens, I think. Another twig? I wonder if I can make myself a backpack or something. I've got to be able to get more storage room. I feel like I don't need two of these things, so I'm going to drop one. I feel like this stick is probably going to be more important. use items, I could try to cut it down. Let's not do that. Mushrooms? What a lovely bright red looking mushroom. I guess I'll eat it. Hope it's not poisonous. Oh, I think it was poisonous. Ugh, my tummy wummy. I feel rather rottenly queasy. Well, that was a mistake. You live and you learn, or you die and you learn, as might be the case here. Okay, so I've got a lot of sticks. A lot of sticks. Also more of these, I could cut down more trees, but... Perhaps I should. Really need more food and water, though. Like, really, really, really need more food and water. This is a really long stretch of forest. lovely bright blue looking mushroom. Let's hope this one isn't poisonous. Mmm, earthy, with a smidge of waterfall. Ooh, berries. Oh boy, these bushy berries sure look and smell delicious. Oh yum, berry tasty with a lashing of custard. Oh good. How much wood did I need? Can I just use sticks, or do I have to cut something down? Or does it just give me these things? I don't know. I kind of forgot what he said. It was two or three somethings to do with wood. Was it sticks? I hope it was sticks. I'm going to drop this, and I'm going to pick up this, and I'm going to hope that's enough. Otherwise, I'm going to have to come back, and that's going to be inefficient. Oh, you know, I think running might actually take up more vitality, does it? It does take up quite a bit. Does it take up more than walking? Not sure. Anyway, it's still pretty early, so I suppose I should keep exploring. Let's go scout. Golly, what? What is that? Oh, 
Oh, this place seems to have jolly useful resources to aid my fragile survival. Should I remember its whereabouts? <laughs> yes or nah. That's strange. I could choose to not remember it. Why would I not want to remember it? I don't understand why I would want to do that. But I'm going to say yes. Oh golly, the wild whistling winds here are a wee bit nippy. I'll need snuggly garments to keep the chill off my bones. Oh yeah, I'm rapidly losing vitality, aren't I? Hold on, what's this? Nope, I can't see anything in this murky darkness. I can't really do anything here, can I? Yeah, okay. It's too dark, and it's really cold. So I need to go back and make a fire. I love that transition screen. It's really cool. Okay, let's hope I have enough. This feeble fire lit is useful only for cookery and s singing? Or is that singeing? I think that's singeing. Let's make it grow bigger. I'm so sorry, wood stuff. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. More. I love the smell of smoldering plant stuff in the morning. What if I use this stuff? Burn. <laughs> Burn it all? Sure. Ah, toasty tootsies. But for snugglies, it hankers a stoking? I don't even know what that means. Okay, um, is that big enough? I should kindle a bigger fire to keep my tootsies snug all night long, or should I just head for Betty Buys? Let's grab a couple more. Hand sized bits of woodlet are very handy indeed. Okay, maybe that's probably better for burning. Rather than just twigs. Ah, there we go. Toasty roasty. This will sure st stave away the nightly... <laughs> Let's try that again. This will sure stave away the nightly chills. This lovely bonfire will keep my tootsies... Yep, asleep. Whoa. Uh. Awaken. I had a horrible night's sleep. That was a strange vision. Where's my tutorial, dude? Where's my other half? No tips for me? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm near to death. So... The windswept stony highlands offers a vantage point to survey these enchanted wilds beneath my tootsies. Well, let's go there and hope I can find something to eat and drink. Oh, right, it's still cold. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure I have much of a choice. Small tree. Hope I find, like, a bush or something. This parched, rubicund reed drains my sweaty palms dry in an instant. Makes a fine inferno torch for mere seconds. Huh. Interesting. I'll take it, but I don't want to eat it. The leaves of this plant feel all milky. A milkiness that suggests a reassuringly neutralizing, well-natured nicety. Is that food? I don't know, but I'll take it. I'm going to try to eat it. Hmm. Tingly, and that sure cleared my nasal passages. Okay, so it sounds like it's medicine or something. Right. Well, I can't stay here too long. 
I'm not sure whether staying there, even though I don't have enough warm clothes, is a good idea just to look for food, or if I should look for somewhere else. Let's go somewhere else. Well, looky over here. <gasps> yes! Okay, not gonna have any problem with water. Oh, this place seems to have jolly useful resources to aid my... Yes, I will definitely remember this. Look at the language, how strange it is. Drinky. Yes, I, I would like a drinky. Mmm. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Ah, so refreshing. My thirst is gushingly quenched. Okay, it's close to nighttime. With this sharp shard of knifey flint, I possess the ungodly power to inflict horrifically incisive paper cuts. <laughs> so, can I craft anything yet? Ah, it's too dark. Wait. I didn't collect any firewood. Uh-oh. That's not good. If I sleep without a fire, I'm probably just gonna freeze to death, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't seem to have any knowledge for recipes. I still can't make anything. This makes a fine Inferno Torch for mere seconds, but I don't think that's going to actually last. Burns bright, whatever usefulness that might have. Don't think it's useful for building a fire. Like, I feel like f the sharp shard combined with a stick might make some sort of an axe thing. But I can't seem to build anything. Not yet. Which is weird. I'm not sure how you learn re learn recipes. It's not as if I'm going to pick them off of the bodies of wolves or something. It's not an RPG. Well, I guess I can try this. My world is now enlighteningly alight. Oh. I guess I could have used that back there. I probably should have. What if I just don't sleep? <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good idea. <sighs> Crap. Do I try to get wood? Ah, my treasure tool has disintegrated. Right, it indeed does not last long. I, c I need to move to another location if I want wood. And if I go out in the night, I can't even pick anything up without a torch, and I don't have anything that could act as a torch now, so I have to do this. I think I might freeze to death. Please don't freeze to death. That would be most unfortunate. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I'm still alive, I think. Barely. I wish it wouldn't pop up like that. But since you're here, can you can you show me a way home now, please? I can't bear another night. I can't even go to the lavy next to these spider-infested trees. They leer at me, hungrily. I cannot trail a path your heart has no wish to follow. Come, follow me. I will show you your second step. What the hell does that mean? I, I just want to go home. Oh, whoa, wait up. Hope you brought snacks. Other half. Uh, this is one long, tiring second step. A step mostly uphill. But gee whiz, what is this spooky place? This place is your salvation. 
Well, more of a ruddy big signpost to focus idle wanderers. On to the altar with fruits from your travels, and it may bestow secrets to gain mastery over this wilderness. And can I use these secrets to find my way back home? Your body already has the means to return home. These secrets only determine the manner your mind arrives. Oh, wait, I don't know the way home. And <laughs> she just went unconscious. Well, where am I? <laughs> the mere sight of this spooky specter bustles my bowels. <laughs> yes, I think I might want to run. Yes, I really think I might want to run. Get away from me. Into the light, away from the demonic thing. <sighs> oh no, not another grisly ghosty. Fear not, for here is a safe sanctum. The breach between wilds where immemorial remains, free from malignant grasp. I guess your aura does seem different. Almost... Ataractic. I have no idea what that means. I am a fragment of yourself that recognizes benevolence, either by force or favor. Here becomes your save point. Oh, I see. A save point. <laughs> so I can get I get to save when I'm almost dead. Actually, my food, my vitality is actually higher than it was when I went to sleep, but my water is extremely low. All right, I guess I'll save. As I glance up, a malevolent smile forms upon the specter. I sense a, a gnawing hunger. Do I dare bestow food to it? What would you like to eat? I guess I have to sacrifice something? How about a milky plant? As my essences stream into the sanctum of the shrine, I can feel my every progress being saved for, po for posterity. Okay, well, it's early in the morning. Right, so I need to go here if I want to save. Once again, I need f water the most. Yeah, if, if honored with food, it may bestow knowledge of wildly mastery. So I'm guessing if I want to learn recipes, I probably need to give it food, but I need water extremely badly, so I need to go here. I'm guessing I could potentially catch some fish if I had the right tools, but I don't really have anything. Honed by a watery caress, this pebble is a humble pummeler. More stones? Sharp shard, I will take that. Yeah, I still can't make anything, right? No. Also, it seems to be getting nighttime. I thought time didn't pass when you were in a spot. Makes for a perfectly short-lived fiery torch to light my way at night. Okay, I need this. So I need to drop something quickly. Nope, not that. What do I not need? I guess I don't need two sharp objects. I'll drop one. I don't think I dropped it. I didn't drop it. There we go. Okay. A glimmering nugget of golden stone. It feels... precious. Hmm. What am I going to do with it, though? I feel like I should pick it up because it seems like gold. It seems like money or something, right? But is it really going to help me survive? I need wood. I need torches. I need stuff for tools. I'll pick it up later. I do need wood, too, so I can actually make a fire. I need to be able to make an axe first, though. Hmm. And to do that, I need to offer food, of which I have none.
a silky smooth pebbly conglomeration honed by the loving watery caress. It would be a shame to pummel it. But pummel it I shall. Oh no, gosh darn it, my treasure tool has disintegrated. What's actually in here? Is it just more gold nugget things? If so, this might be a massive waste of vitality. Yep, that's all it was. Okay, well, I'm gonna drop this, and I guess I'll pick up one of these. Let's go here, see if I can offer anything up. I don't have any food, but... I don't know, maybe it doesn't have to be food. Maybe it just has to be an item, just like the save point. Well, I mean, I kind of did give it food. Medicine. It's kind of like food, I guess. Hold on, what's around here? These look like actual creatures, like, alive. But they seem like statues. Just, just seems like they're watching me. A strange shrine, sh shrine devotive of the wilds befalls my tingling, spookful senses. Shall I dare bestow food in its honor? Have a gold nugget. did something. Muffled murmurings emanate from the incandescence. Dare I peer beyond the golden mantle to the radiance within? Yes. Oh my. What have I done? <laughs> Whisperings pervade my mind with knowledge of a tool to ease harness of this realm. It be a Scroll rack. Hmm? This wizardry skull rack receptacle should keep my dusty old parchments of discovery all nicely dry and orderly. Parchments of discovery, that... what even is that? That sounds completely useless. I need like a fishing rod. Let's offer this up. Oh, I can't even use it. But nothing magically wonderf wonderfully lovely happened. Okay, so that doesn't work. This can work. And this can't work. Okay, I guess I'll offer up the only thing it will take. Oh, wait, what? Can I not offer anything else? Oh well. Time to go freeze to death. I wonder if it actually gets bigger if I use another one. Don't know. <sighs> well, guess I'll sleep. It's it's something. Fire is a fire. God, I'm not gonna get chased again by that thing, am I? Home. Oh my god. It's objects from a home. What a strange dream. Uh, I think I just died. <laughs> Did I just die? <gasps> Revive, please. Oh no. Not this place again. Oh god. I best start running. Oh god. 
Yes, run, run, run very fast. It seems like it's catching up to me. Uh, it's, yeah, it's catching up to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Just made it, I think. Oh, I just realized you can actually see it following me. Look at its head. Move to the left, it looks to the left. Move to the right, it moves to it looks to the right. I don't have any food to give it, do I? I don't, I can't even save. Not that I'd want to in my current state, I'm doing horrible. <sighs> Once again I need water. But if I go there, it's just going to become nighttime. I'm going to have water, but I'm once again going to have no food. I think I need to just need to go somewhere new. I don't, I don't know what I need to find. I need to find something. Could that be a mysteriosity I see before me? Hmm. Wowza! What magical mysteriosity have I stumbled upon? Should I remember this place's wondrous whereabouts? Uh, I don't know if this place is going to give me food, but... Sure. Oh golly, the wild whistling winds here are a bit nippy. Ah, damn it. It's too cold here, too. Peculiar pedestal dedicated to a wildly warty... A wildly warty ribbit frog. The upper tier seems to shift. Shall I swivel it? Sure! Dedicated to a cuddly, snuggly rabbity. Let's shift it. Dedicated to a flittery, fluttery birdie. That's one of those things. Even bigger than the ones I saw before. What is this Colossus? Okay, well that didn't help me... at all. Golly, I've been scouting for hours, but I can't find a pickle. The nightly curtain draws in, too. I should head back. Yeah. Uh, if I head back, I'm just gonna die. There's enough time to explore further there yonder. Tomorrow, wait. Oh, okay, I have to sleep. I think I'm about to die again. one more little saw blade thing. I think I need three to cut down a small tree, though. I probably shouldn't run. Okay. I guess I will sleep, and I'm almost certainly going to die. This game is really difficult. I'm not sure how to get to the point where I can even make tools. And I think I'm dead. Wow, the sky is alive with mysterious meteors. And I think I just dead, dead, yeah. I just dead, I just deaded. I'm gonna have to run again, aren't I? Oh no, not this place again. Better start running. Yep, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and there's a new gravestone! <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? There's someone at the door. That is really creepy. A forest. 
Where the hell am I? Is this the beginning again? Okay, we're starting again. Yeah, this is the same thing, right? Um, your prone survival. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay. Take this, and I will take it. I won't eat it just yet. Save it. Let's survive better this time. Okay, one more. God, this takes so much of my vitality just to cut this thing down. Oh, you can even see the fire go down in her other hand. You can see it as it dies down during the night. Alright. Go explore the woodlands. Tufts of leafy foliage. I wonder how much that actually helps the fire. Hmm. Dunno, but I definitely need to eat. That did a pretty good amount. I'll just leave those there. No reason to take them with me. Alright, let's see if I can do better this time. To the woodlands. This time I won't eat the nasty mushrooms. I'm hoping what like what color mushrooms are poisonous is not randomized. Cause the red they were red, right? The bad ones and then the blue ones were good, I think. <laughs> Hope I'm remembering that right. What a strange oddity to peer upon. My eyes tingle. Maybe that was a previous incarnation of me. Berries. Yeah, I'll use them. Hmm. Pink mushrooms. Hmm. I'll take them, but I'm not gonna eat them just yet. Oh, look at the pretty it's like a rainbow coming through the through the forest. Oh, more of these. Excellent. Okay, well, I'm going to need more blue. Oh, there's more blue. Because I need three of them to saw something down. Let's go ahead and see what the pink mushrooms do. Hmm. Earthy with a smidge of candy floss. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Okay, three should do it. More berries. Hmm. I'm actually getting pretty lucky with the berries. Just hopefully they're not poisonous. But I need to cut down a tree. Don't have room for it just yet. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's a deer. Come back here. Bunch of bundles, excellent.
Alright, I'm just going to preemptively drop this. Because I really just need to keep stuff for fires and stuff for food. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I now can come back here to get more food. Got two foods on me, which is excellent. And I still have time to explore. Okay, so this is going a lot better than it was before. Way better. Let's go see what's over here. So I believe it's randomized. With what you find. I think maybe that's what that whole do you want to remember this place mechanic is about. Maybe if you don't remember it and you go back to that square, it allows you to like experience a new tile, basically. My beady, eagly eyes see all. What do you spot with your eyes? Hmm. Excellent. Certainly want to remember this. What is that? Oh, I didn't mean to drink, but actually I do want to drink. Just looks like there's an object here. Oh yes, sharp. At the moment, that seems kind of useless. Actually, I don't even have any room, so now that I've drank... I guess I'll just go back. Alright, let's make a proper fire. There we go. So I'm going to look at the fire in her in her left hand and see if it stays throughout the night. And see if that affects the speed. Or, oh, right, that happens. Awaken. I'm going to be running in just a second. Oh, not quite yet. Horrible night's sleep. Okay, water's looking pretty good. Food, not so good, so I suppose I should eat. Okay. Uh, where to now? Oh, little birdie, look at it. I love the wildlife. So much movement. It's wonderful. So I can go get more food. I can also go get more wood. I do need more wood. Yeah, let's go back here. Did I leave a chunk of wood? I don't... Did I? I know I left sticks. Okay, so yeah, I just left a stick. Ooh, flowers in the bath. Look at that. Beautiful. Yellow-looking mushroom. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat that. It's probably poison. I probably shouldn't be running. Oops. Didn't mean to drop that. Also, did not mean to drop that. The controls are a bit strange. Okay, before I pick anything up, let's eat. It's giving me a lot of water, but I don't really need any water. So quickly, I'm going to be pushing up against the cap of water, which is kind of inefficient. If I'm wasting the liquid from it just for food. What's here? Only one. That should be enough, though. I just need two to make a good fire. Beyond that, I should probably just keep food on me. Yeah, not sure how much... I don't know how much these really help a fireplace. Throwing in some sticks, throwing in some leafy foliage. I mean, if I had more storage space, it wouldn't hurt to take them, but I, I'm so limited. Ooh, what's that? The scrumptious, succulent harvest of a fruitage treekin. 
Okay, I got two things of food. There's some more berries there. I think I'm good to go. Yeah, let's just go explore. Can explore one location and then go back to sleep. I'm doing so much better now than I was before. I think I spot some place interesting. Hmm. Oh, wow. I, I was looking at the statue and then I looked down and realized there's berries everywhere. I will absolutely remember this place. My god. Okay, let's go ahead and eat once. Please don't be poisonous. And it's not. I like it, the yellow ones taste like custard. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to use it. I meant to take it. Oh, well, it's fine. I'll just grab another custardly one. A shrine devoted of the wild to befalls my tingling senses. Hmm. It's saying use items, like I can use an item on the altar. I'm kind of worried it's just going to eat it, though, but there's so many berries here. I guess I'll just try to use one of the berries. I placed the humble offering upon the eerie altar's golden mantle, but nothing magically wonderfully lovely happened. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> let's pick that up. Okay, let's try wood. No, can't use it. Let's try this. Nothing happened. Hmm. Perhaps it wants a certain color. Whatever it wants, I probably don't have it. And I'm guessing it's kind of hard to get. It seems too simple if you just grabbed a berry from a bush right next to it. This place is going to be extremely important for my survival, though. There's a ton of food here. I'll just leave it for now. Can I go somewhere else? It's pretty close to nighttime. Hmm. I'll try scouting. Oh, nope, not enough time. Okay, gonna need more wood tomorrow. Hopefully this time I can see how long the fire lasts. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if it lasts through the night. Okay, so it goes down very slowly while the fire is still active. Yes? Okay, yep. Lasted through the night. So two big chunks equals much, much better vitality throughout the night. Hello again. Gonna go on a journey, hmm? This time I didn't keel over dead. I guess that wasn't supposed to happen before. It was just because I was starving to death. <laughs> Alright. Let's give it something. Doesn't want that. Does want that. Does want that. Um, hmm, berries. Let's go with berries. Give me your vision. What can I make with berries? Is it gonna be like a berry soup or something? Whoa. Is that a hammer? Looks like an image of a hammer. It be a bluey stone hammer. Hmm, what can I do with a hammer? I'm certainly not going to be able to cut down trees with it. Good for building, obviously, but 
I think I need stuff to actually build with before I can even use a hammer. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's give it this. I really need recipes. I badly need recipes. I'm not sure what that is. Kind of looks like a sledgehammer. Or maybe a club? Why do I need a club, though? Uh, a spade. Ooh. Alright. A crude ramjackal basher, but this bluey stone hammer is still a dependable destroyer of rock nobility. Okay. So I can use that to bash apart, from what I've seen so far, at least the rocks that contain the gold, but I don't know what the gold's for. A crude ramshackle diggy. <laughs> but with this blue stone spade, I can burrow up trees and other flora carcasses. Hmm. Burrow up trees. What can I do with that? What would that get me? Could I just take the tree and just burn the tree whole? Eh. Uh, maybe? I don't know, but I think I should make it. Okay, so I need wood and I need a smooth stone. I can get the smooth stone from the stream, but I need wood for the fireplace anyway. So I think I need to go to the forest and try to get wood. I feel like I'm not going to be able to make this today, though. How late is it? Oh, I got a bit of time. Okay, highest priority is definitely wood. Without a doubt. I'll leave that. Okay, so I need more blue things. Need to cut down some tiny trees. Here we go. I just realized, every time you take one of these blue spiny things, it actually removes one of the, the things from how it actually looks. Look at it. Take one. Boom. It actually takes it. That is super cool. Also, what the heck is this thing? Such a strangely mysterious monument. What can it be for? I don't know. I can't seem to use it. <laughs> that didn't last long. Small little things. Hold on, what about here? One? That's it? Oh, wait a minute. There was a big piece here. It's weird. Does this menu scroll? Oh, there's more food. Let's go ahead and just uh, eat it, see what it does exactly. Ooh. Hmm, looks about the same as berries. Quite nice. Okay, I got two. That can make a big fire, but I do want to make a spade. See if I can dig up trees to burn them or something. <laughs> and see what else I can do, too. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... Well, I'm definitely going to drop this. So if I wanted to make a fire bigger, what's better to put on there? Leafy foliage or a stick? This is begging to be a campfire martyr, which makes it sound like you're just meant to burn it. I don't know. Alright, let's go to the stream and try to make a spade. Oh, 
There is not enough time. Okay, so let's use one. And then let's just throw this on. Okay, so you don't need to use two big chunks. You can use one plus one of those foliage things. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I misread that. Never mind, it's not enough. Let's throw in a stick. Let's throw in... a few more sticks. Hopefully I'm not just wasting them. Oh, golly wally, I almost seared my eyebrows away. Is this actually working? Hmm. Maybe you have to use the big pieces to kindle it bigger. If these don't if these don't work, then I'm pretty sure you do. Oh, no you don't. Okay, there we go. Cool, so a bunch of small things will work. Of course, once again, the main problem with that is just storage space. Hope I get a chance to save soon, because I'm really happy with how this life is going. Especially compared to the last one, which went horribly.